we are continuing on our series of motion design in unreal engine in this video we are going to look at how effector works with the help of cloners and now you can change various parameters to achieve some really cool looking motion designs with the help of effectors so without any delay let's jump into unreal engine as you guys can see i have opened unreal engine and loaded the last template that we created okay now let's just duplicate our basic startup map and let's just name it to effectors because we are now going to look at effectors and how they are used okay now let's just double click it and let's just don't save this okay let's just save let's just double click it and now save select it okay now let's start with our motion design template here so let's just click on the motion design okay and now you can see this template is loaded here now let's create a new cloner and let's look at how effector works and what are effectors. If you are new to motion design, you can check out my first uh, video on intro to motion design in Unreal Engine. Okay, I'm using Unreal Engine 5.4. Unreal 5.5 is uh, released, but I'm going to make a jump over that version when it is stable. Right now it's still in preview, so I'm not uh, using that version here. Now let's just go to our actors and let's just click on clone actor cloner actor and let's just click here and now you can see our cloner actors are created and basically they are nothing but they are just some cubes which are aligned on top of each other so basically they are cloned on top of each other here now let's just click on our cloner and let's just reset our position and rotation so let's just click here and here and now you can see it's around zero and zero and let's just take it a bit upward something like this Okay, and now you can see basically if I open this cloner here in our motion design outliner, you can see we are having this default cube and this default cube is creating this cloners here. How it is working? Let me explain you it in a bit so you will get the idea. Let's just take the details panel here right now. Okay, we are just going to minimize this something like this. Okay, now let's just look at how this is done. So if you click on your cloner and if you scroll downwards here, you can see we are having a grid layout here. And that's why we are having three in X direction, this side, three in Y direction and three in Z direction. So basically we are getting this cubes here because of this grid layout. Okay, if you want, you can change it also. We are going to look uh, deeper into our cloner and how you can use that on the later video. But today our focus is on effectors because we want to create something quickly, a cool looking loop or something like that. Okay, so let's just see how this works. So if I do one by one, so now you can see we are having only three counts in the Z axis here. Okay, so let's just do zero in Z and let's just make somewhat a uh, lot of cloners. So let's just take it around 50 in X and 50 in Y. Okay, or 40 in Y. Let's just take 60 in Y. Okay, and now if I zoom out here, you can see we are having this cloner here. Okay, so now what I can do, okay, let's just switch from this viewport of motion design to our default viewport because I'm used to that. And let's just zoom it out. And now you can see we are getting something like this. Let's just uh, take this here and let's just take this here so we can see actually what we are doing. Okay, now you can see we are having this big chunks of basically cubes which are cloned in x and y direction okay so let's just take it around 40 by 40 right now because they are a lot okay now you can see we are not having any material on this cube if you want to switch from cube to any other object you can do it easily and we are going to look that in future videos but right now i want to explain you how effector work here okay so basically before uh before applying effector to this cloner by clicking on spawn linked effector i am going to apply some materials here so we can see how it is looking so let's create like three three or four materials okay and let's just apply them to our cloner here so for that i'm going to go to content drawer i'm going to go to motion design let's just create a new folder or you can press ctrl shift n also and let's just name this folder to let's say materials Okay, I'm going to right click and create a new material. Okay, let's just name it to M underscore master. Okay, let's just double click. We are just going to give a basic color. So let's just right click and promote it to parameter. Okay, let's just take a basic color, something like this maybe. Okay, we are going to make it a bit brighter here, something like this. Okay, and I want roughness of 
let's say 0.3 here okay and this is looking good let's just save it out okay let's just close this and let's just right click and create a material instance okay let's just open it here and i'm going to change the base color here so let's just start with something like this first so this will be our first material let's just duplicate it by pressing ctrl d this will be our second material color okay so let's just do something like this okay now let's just create a third material color so let's just press ctrl d here let's just double click it here let's just go around green here okay and let's just have a fourth color as well so let's just press ctrl d okay you can have a color palette or color wheel as well so you can get some really good results out of this okay and this is done okay now in order to apply it here you can see only we are having only this default cube okay so if i apply a material here let's say something like this you can see it will be a white but now you can see all are blue now if i want this pink this green and this yellow how you can do it it's really easy guys you need to basically duplicate your default cube like three times okay so now this is done now let's just click here okay and let's just apply this here okay let's just click here okay and let's just apply this here okay now you can see we are getting this stuff and let's just click here and let's just apply this here as well and now you can see we are having this colorful things here okay so now you can see this is looking really good okay so now what we can do now we are going to apply the effectors here okay so let's just take the details panel again here so we can get some stuff here to see okay so let's just do something like this i'm going to minimize this sequencer here something like this so i have some more space here okay now let's just create our effector so just click on the cloner here before doing that let's just save the scene so let's just go to file and save all okay now i am going to click here spawn linked effector and it will create a effector here okay so let's just click on this and now you can see we are having in motion design outliner a thing called effector here okay and if i zoom in here you can see certain cubes are getting outside here okay and if i move you can see we are just getting this cool looking animation here okay so what we can do now let's just look at the effector so let's just name it to by pressing f2 effector 01 okay so we can stack effectors like effector 1 effector 2 effector 3 effector 4 just as we do a turbulence or stacking by one on the top of each other okay if i click on this effectors and let's just look at the properties first so you will be thinking why this is going in this upward direction so if you look here it is showing that it is due to your offset here okay so if i take my offset to zero you can say it's now inside so if i take my offset here in x 200 you can say it's basically getting into each other okay because there is no collision but in 5.5 now we have collisions as well so let's just do in z let's just go for 200 here and now you can see this is looking something like this okay but you can see there is a yellow basically thing here which is basically called our field okay and if you want to make this bigger you can just make that bigger as well okay so you can visualize it easily so just go to your advanced here in the effector and just make sure that you have the thickness of two and now you can see this is how it is looking okay so you can visualize it as well okay now let's just press r key here okay by selecting the effector and let's just make it bigger something like this okay and now you can see our effector is looking something like this here so if i click on play okay so let's just zoom it out a bit so you can see we are getting this animation here okay and you can create a really cool animation with the help of this okay now let's just look at another parameters here so right now our inner radius is 50 and outer radius is 200 so we are getting this smooth fall off so let's do zero here and now you can see we are getting this stuff here okay but if i do let's say 200 here so now you can see it's basically snapping to 200 so you can see we are getting this lego like effect so if you want to create something like this you can do it with this snapping turn both just turn on both inner radius and outer radius to a similar value and there will be no fall off okay but if you want fall off just go for zero and take it to 200 
and if i take my offset to 500 you can see we are getting this offset here so this is looking really cool okay this effect is looking really good okay now let's say you want this is a linear animation okay so basically it's a straight curve as we get in our sequencer but let's say if i want to change the curve to auto or smooth or something like that how you can do that it is really easy just in easing you need to change from linear to let's say maybe uh out bounce okay and now you can see we are getting this bounce here see okay so this is looking really cool okay in cinema 4d if you want to achieve something like this it's really tough but unreal motion design tools are really nice and you can see this result so let's just move uh let's just hide this floor right now and you can see this is looking really good okay so let's just go to our effector again and now let's just play with this here okay nice let's just change another stuff so you can see this will bounce will go like up then down then up okay in elasticity so it will go downwards here okay so if i go downwards by pressing the q key you can see it's going downwards here see okay so if i go upwards again and if i select my effector okay i can just go out for out back and you can see we are getting this result here okay so you can really experiment with the cows and you can replace these cubes with your maybe product or something like that okay whatever you want i'm going to show you how you can do that it's really easy just add your product and add it to the cloner and that's it but i'm going to show you so don't worry about this let's just go for uh out elasticity okay and you can see it's looking something like this but i want that bounce effect so let's just go for uh what it was it was out bounce i think okay so let's just go for bounce out bounce okay and we are getting this effect here okay this is looking cool now let's just look at some more parameters so if you want the rotation as well you can do that as well okay so let's just take our rotation in x let's say to 40 and now you can see we are getting this rotation in 40 degree in x let's say go for 20 in y and 10 in z and now you can see we are getting this effect c so this is looking really good okay now let's do one thing okay let's just scale them also so if i scale them to 0.5 let's say so now you can see we are having this scale as well and if you go here you can see we are getting some really good results so if i go here and if i come here and now you can see we are getting this scaling as well okay so this is a really cool parameter that you can play you can use the offset the scale and the uh, rotation as well okay now let me show you another method okay right now you can see we are using this peer to basically use the effector but if you want to change a uh, change this from sphere to plane you can do that as well and now you can see we are getting this plane effect okay so here is the result so if i do something like this you can see we are getting this plane effect okay so this is also a really cool effect which you can use okay then from plane you can take a box as well so now we are getting this box here okay so you can see the result of the box as well and if you want to make it bigger just press the r key and make the box bigger so you can key this as well so now you can see we are getting this animation here so let's just press ctrl z here now the really cool thing that i want to show you and which many artists use okay is unbound so in unbound you can see we are getting this effect okay we are not getting anything here okay let's just uh give the rotation to zero and scale to one so we are by default value and you can see that nothing happening but in order to work with this you need to have a noise here okay how you can do that just click on this default and just go for noise fill and now you can see that it's still nothing it's happening okay so for that you need to have basically a animation of time okay and you can do this with this pen animation so if i take the pen to five here okay and if i uh, basically increase my uh, what we say location strength to let's say 500 here and now you can see we are getting this effect see okay so let's just take it down a bit let's just go for 10 okay and now you can see we are getting this waves of cube let's just take it to 30 okay and now you can see we are getting this stuff here okay of the cube basically animating okay and if you want the scale as well we can give the scale strength to 0.5 okay 
uh, in all the parameters. So let's just do 0.5 and 0.5. And now you can see we are getting this 0.5 effect. Okay. It's panning currently in X axis, but if you want in Y as well. So now you can see we are getting this. And if you want in the Z, but not that much. And now you can see we are getting this effect as well. Okay. So let's just change the scale to one by one. And now you can see this is looking really good. Okay. We are getting some really nice effect. Now let's say we want to add uh, more speed. So you can do it with this panning. If I take it to 10, now you can see we are getting more speed here. If you want a slow mo, you can take this to one and you are getting this slow motion effect here. Okay. And frequency, basically, if you take it to uh, more than one, two, three, it will basically a small wave. Okay. So now you can see we are getting this sharper noise. And if you take it down to point two, now you can see we are getting that smooth wave here. So it's up to you how you want to use this effect here. Okay. This is looking really cool. So you can see here as well, this angle is looking really nice. Okay. So you can see the effect as well here. Okay. So this is looking really good. Now, another thing, if you want to add another effector, let's say you want to add that spear effector here, then you can add one more effector on this on top of this. So let's can again go to cloner and just click on spawn linked effector. Okay. And you can see we are having this new effector here. Okay. And if I move it here and now you can see it's working beautifully. Okay. So let's just increase the radius here. Okay, so let's just, we can see, so let's just increase the thickness here. So we can see it here clearly. Let's just change from linear to, let's say, outbounds. Yeah. Okay, and now you can see we are bouncing it as well. But if you want, you can press the R key and make it bigger. Okay, so now you can see we are bouncing this. But let's say you want more bounce here. So what you can do, you can take from 100 to let's say 500. And now you can see we are getting this effect as well. Okay. So we are using this as well. So let's just decrease it to maybe 300. Okay. And now you can say this is looking really good and you can animate this as well. So let's say you want to animate in sequencer. It's really easy. You need to just click on this key here. Okay. So let's just take it to maybe let's just take it to 300. Let's just key it here you can see we are having this key so it will start from zero okay and on let's say 120 it will again we will give it a key and let's just go to 300 here okay so we are having a key here but it's not working because it's 300 here so let's just do zero okay and if you want you can press the key as well okay so it, you can key it here okay so now you can see it's zero here and basically it's increasing here. Okay. So you get that increase here as well. And let's say if you want to go from 300 to 500, you can do as well, but don't forget to click on this key. Okay. This key here, and then you can select both of them and then you can give the cow as well. So let's give a maybe circular cow here. And now you can see this is the result here. So if I click on play here, Okay, we are getting this stuff. See, okay, now basically it's the cow. That's why it's basically going from slow to fast. So you can really experiment with the cow that you want to have. So it's if it's an exponential cow. So you can see this is how it's looking. So this is how you can use the effectors as per your requirement as per your project. We are going to create some projects as well. But before doing that, I want to make sure that you know how the effector works, how the cloner works. So at the time of the project, I don't uh, take that much time in explaining each and every stuff because you already know what I am doing. I hope you guys like this video. If you guys like this video, please press that like button, share it with your friends who wants to learn motion design in Unreal Engine. And I will see you in more such amazing videos in some time. Bye bye guys.